farm uh, three of his six children. That same work attitude uh, that reaps successful harvest, he's transitioned that over to public service. Mr. Walsh's distinguished career began in 1970 as a uh, member of the Elwood School District. In 1973, he was elected Jackson Township Supervisor, a position he held until December of 2004. On two separate occasions, Larry served a uh, term as a Will County Board, once in 74 and once in 1992. Larry also served as the Illinois State Senator, representing the 43rd District from 1977 until 2005. Larry Walsh was sworn in as a Will County Executive back in December 6, 2004. As the Will County Executive, he is obviously responsible for all the day-to-day -day responsibilities with all of the Will County government uh, departments. We're grateful to Larry's wife, Irene, uh, for supporting him while he serves the residents of Will County. And you should know that in his free time, he keeps busy with 18 grandchildren. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Mr. Larry Walsh. Thank you very much, Mark, for the introduction. And um, as it stands right now, uh, we're standing at 18 grandchildren. Uh, many of the times I've been, been introduced to speak, I always have to change that number because uh, another one was on the way. But uh, as of right now, I think we're safe with 18. So I appreciate the opportunity to give our basically state of the county message today. So um, Anastasia is ready to go. So <laughs> good afternoon, President Russ Langer, my fellow board members and uh, the chamber and special guests. I'm honored to be invited to speak to you and share examples of why Will County remains a great place to live, work, raise a family. We know about the issues that continue to challenge our economy. Will County is moving forward because of the success of our strategic partnerships and proactive planning. Will County has grown from a rural agricultural community to a nationally recognized county with a global presence. As the largest inland port in North America, Will County has secured its place in the world market. Will County continues to attract a wide variety of corporations bringing numerous job opportunities for our residents. <clears throat> Will County has made smart investments in our future and we are utilizing technology to bring local government to our residents and increase our transparency. Many of our departments and elected officials continue to work to improve their websites to make information and services available online. In my office, we are listing information about the board's commissions on the college website to encourage transparency and, more importantly, public involvement. Our land use department has websites focused on sustainability and also citizen engagement. Another success story is our auditor, Duffy Blackburn, whose work with county offices resulted in Will County being named one of the top five governments in Illinois for transparency by the Illinois Policy and Institute. Duffy has listed the county's checkbook online and other information such as financial audits, county budgets, and even county labor contracts on his website. Duffy and all our elected officials have done a great job with their commitment to transparency. These types of initiatives highlight Will County, our success, and our cooperative environment. Each year, I present a balanced budget to the county board, and this year was no different. I worked with county board leadership to establish guidelines, and then submitted a budget just below last year's level for the overall level. This year's budget will allow county government to continue providing services to our residents while staying within our means. The total 2013 revenue budget is $466,344,939, which includes all the various special funds across all our elected officials 
and the departments under my direction. The 2012 revenues are up approximately $5 million, much of which will pay for our increased health care costs. We also have $2 million set aside to fund other post-employment benefits. As all of you know, costs continue to rise, and we are tightening our belts to get our work done. The Will County Board will vote on the 2013 budget at the November 15th meeting. This year's process has been much smoother than previous meetings, and there have been many, or excuse me, there have been few changes to my budget proposal thus far. Despite the difficult economic times, we have continued to maintain our cash reserves based on a policy that we set several years ago. These funds allow us to continue to pay our bills on time, pay off old debt, and maintain Will County's AA plus bond rating. There is still much work to be done, but I am confident if we continue to work together in a bipartisan manner, we will be successful. After only one year in Joliet, Home Depot announced last summer the company is leasing an additional 1.6 million square feet of the distribution center at the Center Point Intermodal Center. This new stocking intermodal center will employ 300 people and will complement the nearly 658,000 square feet rapid deployment center uh, for the rapid deployment center to create a combined 2.2 million square feet under roof and more than 650 jobs here in Will County. We are also happy to welcome the additional addition of Claris Park Joliet. The Claris Partners are investing $70 million to build an industrial business park on Young's Road near Route 6 and I-55. The four sites within this park will present additional job openings for the residents of Will County. In addition to encouraging a business-friendly environment, Will County is also creating jobs through our highway department. The Build Will program, which began in 2008, continues to grow and is critical to keeping our county moving forward. 72 projects totaling more than $350 million were identified, which have the potential of creating thousands of construction jobs. These jobs are bringing people to Will County who shop in our stores, dine in our restaurants, and otherwise help stimulate the local economy. More than 20 of these projects are under construction or have been completed. A significant county project occurred at Railway Road and Cherry Hill Road. Nearly $2 million was invested to reconstruct this intersection and add traffic signals and turn lanes. With the close proximity of this intersection to our county and intermodal facilities, this project did a lot to improve safety and traffic flow. After more than a year of study and extensive public involvement, IDOT and their consultants completed the Tier 1 Environmental Impact Studies for the Ileana Expressway. The final EIS expected this fall will identify the preferred alignment for the new roadway that has been proposed to improve travel times, reduce congestion, and provide a safe, direct connection between I-55 in Illinois and I-65 in Indiana. After considerable discussion about the need to protect our residents above all else, the County Board approved a resolution in favor of the B-3 alignment because it would impact the fewest number of homes and businesses. Will County has actively participated in planning for the Ileana, and we are working to balance the protection of local property rights with the sensitive decisions that are often necessary as our county continues to go, grow. In a few short months, the study will narrow the area of focus from a 2,000 foot to a 400 foot corridor. And I pledge to remain focused and exhaust all opportunities to ensure Will County is represented fairly throughout the next steps.
Transportation is a pivotal piece of our growing, of a growing economy and the South Suburban Airport continues to be a priority for Will County as a way to create jobs and economic opportunity. First and foremost, the governance of this airport must be controlled by Will County. We continue to advance a governance plan with the support of a coalition of elected officials and business and labor leaders from Will, Grundy, Kankakee, and Cook Counties. Will County's plan is the only legitimate plan for building and operating the South Suburban Airport. We are pleased with the attention Illinois' recently appointed Secretary of Transportation, Ann Schneider, has shown to this project and our concerns. The governor also recently announced that another piece of the airport layout plan for the South Suburban Airport has been submitted to the FAA. Along with attracting economic opportunity, we remain focused on helping our residents find employment. The Workforce Services Division of Will County provides a strong connection between our residents seeking employment and employers who are seeking qualified skilled people. Through several job fairs and recruitment events, our Workforce Service Division has partnered with new businesses in Will County to help our residents find good jobs. This year, more than 5,000 customers have visited the Workforce Services Resource Room for help with their job searches. In the Resource Room, people can use computers to create a resume or research uh, and apply for jobs online. Our Workforce Services Division maintains a job board to connect qualified applicants with open positions. To date, this job board has listed hundreds of open positions, ranging from entry-level warehouse jobs to advanced degree positions such as engineers and nurses. The people who receive training from our Workforce Services Division earned nearly $12 million in wages in 2011. This is $12 million that was put back into the local economy, not to mention the number of people who found good paying jobs as a result of this training. Just as the county government is expected to maintain safe infrastructure and ensure public safety, our residents also look to us for help with serious community concerns. Last April, we partnered with Stepping Stones, Hero, and several other local organizations to host Hero Helps, a heroin education and prevention forum which drew nearly 800 people from across the state who were seeking information about addiction treatment, prevention, and legal consequences. The large response to this form provide proves heroin is a problem in our communities and our residents appreciate the county taking these proactive steps. The success of this form has attracted the attention of the Department of Alcohol and Substance Abuse under the Illinois Department of Human Services, which has reached out to us for help in replicating this model to present in communities across the state. Will County has been fortunate to partner with the Robert Brown Center for Health Education in the development of a heroin prevention curriculum that is being piloted in Joliet Township High Schools this fall. It is our hope that this partnership will help eventually drive heroin out of our county. For the third year in a row, Will County was named one of Illinois' healthiest counties by the Mobilizing Action Toward Community Health, or MASH, study. This study was conducted by the University of Wisconsin's Population Health Institute for the Illinois Department of Public Health. Out of 102 counties across the state, Will County ranked 16 in overall health based on a variety of health factors such as excessive clinical care, physical environment, and social and economic factors. This next study gives us a snapshot. Excuse me. 
of the overall health in Will County. And because of the dedication of our Executive Director, John Cicero, and his staff, the Will County Health Department and the Community Health Center continue to provide quality health care to our residents, which serves as an important foundation for a healthy county. Will County also serves our residents through the Health Department's mobile dental van. Last fall, Will County took delivery of a 40-foot motor coach filled with the state-of-the-art equipment, including a digital x-ray machine. The van has two dental chairs and is staffed by a dentist and a dental hygienist. Through the end of July 2012, this van has served more than 750 Will County residents who otherwise would not have had access to dental care. The van visits 46 sites across Will County each month, including shelters, schools, and daycare set sites. More than 77% of these patients were children who received complete dental exams, teeth cleanings, and other preventive procedures. In August, the van staff began performing tooth extractions and fillings. Providing proper dental care to our residents is a service we can all be proud of. Members of the Will County Behavioral Health Department have long occupied key leadership roles to help chart the mental health future of not only Will County, but the entire state. This leadership was vital in the wake of the closure of the Tinley Park Mental Health Center. This department played an important part in creating an alternative treatment program for Will County residents. In June, one month before the center's closure, a transition program was in place to provide substance abuse, uh, residential treatment, and outpatient mental health services. Will County will receive nearly $772,000 to fund this traditional plan which is critical for the approximately 300 Will County residents who receive psychiatric services each year from the Tenley Park Center. Another important strategy has been the formation of the Will County Map Collaborative to prioritize public health issues and implement community health improvement plans. Utilizing mobilizing for action through planning and partnership models, this collaboration of the county health department, local hospitals, including Provena St. Joseph Medical Center, Silver Cross Hospital, Edward Hospital, and Adventist Holy Brook Hospital, and a multitude of our community organizations has created a multi-stage framework to identify existing resources and determine areas of need. This partnership will help create a meaningful action plan to address the future of community health for our residents. In today's social, socioeconomic climate, where many Americans struggle with medical costs, I am proud Will County continues to be able to offer quality medical, dental, and mental health care for our residents. The success of, our Will, of the Will County Land Use Department has also brought national attention to our county. Our neighborhood stabilization program ranks number two in the country and continues to help preserve our communities while helping people realize their dreams of home ownership. From the initial grant of $5.16 million in 2008, the county has doubled the funding and stretched this program farther through the purchase and the resale of foreclosed homes. 75 homes have been purchased, renovated, and resold to qualified buyers. This program has also stimulated our economy by adding an estimated $27 million in economic activity and saving up, creating many jobs. Will County continues to lead the way in its green initiatives. We have received national acclaim for the success of our electronic recycling program. In January 2012, Illinois 
issued a statewide ban on the disposal of electronics in public landfills. Will County was ahead of the game because we have been hosting re electronic recycling drop-off events for several years prior to this ban. We have also developed a public-private partnership with Vintage Tech in Romeoville, the first of its kind in the state of Illinois that allows for free front door pickup of electronic recycling items. This program was made possible through the partnerships between Vintage Tech and industry manufacturers who, with no added cost to local taxpayers. Since we began offering this pickup service in April of 2011, we have collected nearly one million pounds of electronics. While our land use department remains committed to safeguarding our natural resources, the Historic Preservation Commission is dedicated to protecting our county's rich heritage. The commission is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year, and through the tireless efforts of its members, more than 45 sites across Will County have been designated as historic landmarks. The Land Use Department was named recipient of the 2012 Public Integrity Award bestowed by the American Society of Public Administration. The ASPA is one of the country's oldest and most distinguished organizations, and this award honors outstanding contributions to responsible conduct in public service. Will County Land Use Department's mission of promoting ethical standards, enhancing public trust, and providing outstanding services in all of its divisions were contributing factors to being selected for the award. This summer, Will County established an administrative adjudication program designed to provide a forum to officially manage ordinance violation citations issued by land use, animal control, sheriff, or the health department. In the first few months of this program, Will County has successfully, successfully handled more than 300 cases. This program has done much to encourage compliance with our county ordinances and foster a more agreeable climate within the county. By utilizing the hearing officers, these cases are resolved quickly in a fair and impartial method. We have some difficult decisions ahead to continue this, the important projects and programs in Will County that will propel us into the future. By continuing to work together, we can keep this momentum going. I am privileged to be leading this progressive car county as we become an integral part of our global economy. Ten years ago, not many outside of the state of Illinois were aware of Will County. With a cooperative effort, there is no stopping the future for Will County. Thank you very much. in the county and leaving the county. It seems every time you go down, you see a new storage facility, three high acres and acres of containers. What, what can you tell us about that? Well, uh, number one, the two intermodals that are in Will County are under the jurisdiction of two municipalities. One's Elwood and the other one's City of Joliet. And what uh, we have in regards to when the, when the intermodals first came about, just as what you're talking about, George, the placing of storage, storage of <coughs> container was going to become a problem. And we could just foresee every 40 acre parcel up and down every hard road was going to become basically a storage area or maybe more 
appropriately a cemetery for these containers. And, and the land use department went to uh, bat right away and created a special use uh, ordinance to be able to counteract the, the, the idea of just buying land and putting the storage out under an I-1 zoning or an I-2. Uh, now they have to come in and actually give a special use and, and explain thoroughly why they are going to use it, which gives us the authority then to say, uh, basically, if it meets the surrounding area or it doesn't meet the surrounding area. Now, in the Joliet General, um, they have provided a, a large area for future use as a storage area for the containers, which is only appropriate. Much better if we're going to have these stored containers stored be right there where the intermodal is instead of every piece of property that you see. If you drive up by 55, you see how almost every overpass is a storage area underneath them for containers. The other good facet, the other good thing that has taken place is a lot of these containers are going back to their original sites in Korea, China, Southeast Asia, Laos, wherever, Vietnam, filled with American grain and feed trucks, feedstuffs. DDGs, distilled dried grain, uh, used in uh, making of ethanol, are filling container after container in, in, in millions and millions of dollars worth of sales are, are going back the original site filled with our grain. Anything else? I didn't know I did it. <laughs>